Hello students, welcome back. Let's solve the exercise question number 10 of chapter 10 light from class 10 NCRT science textbook. And the question reads like an object 5 cm in length is held 25 cm away from a converging lens of focal length 10 cm. Draw the ray diagram and find the position, size and the nature of the image formed. Alright, so here we have a converging lens that is a convex lens. A convex lens is also known as a converging lens. So here we have a converging lens whose focal length is given and there is an object which is placed at 25 cm away from this convex lens and the height of the object is given. We have to draw the ray diagram for the image formation and we'll have to find out the position of the image that is the image distance, the size of the image that's the image height and the nature of the image that will be formed. So let's start. So here we have a convex lens and this is the optical center. Here is the first focal length f1 and double of that is 2f1 or this is the center of curvature c1. On the right side we have f2 and here is 2f2 that is c2. Now we know that a convex lens has a positive focal length. So the focal length of this lens here is given as 10 centimeter and this is also 10 centimeter on this side. Now if f1 is 10, so 2f1 will be 20. So this is 20 and this is also 20. Now we have the object of height 5 cm placed 25 cm away from this lens. If f1 is 10, 2f1 is 20. Now object is held at 25 cm away from the optical center of the convex lens. So here we have our object which is at 25 centimeter and the height of this object is 5 centimeter. Now we have to find out the position size and nature of the image. Now before we begin we can predict the kind of image that will be formed and whether it will be a real image or a virtual image and about its size. So for this you have to be very thorough with the ray diagrams for the image formation using a convex lens. Now let us see what would probably our answer be. Now for that we will draw the ray diagram first. Now one ray goes parallel to the principal axis. After refraction it passes through the focal length f2. Another ray will pass through the optical center and it will meet this ray over here. So this is the position where the image will be formed. Now if this is f2 the image is formed to the left of f2 that is c2. Now here you need to remember there is an easy trick for remembering the ray diagrams that when the object is placed to the left of C1 the image also will be formed to the left of C1 and if the object is to the right of C1 or 2F1 the image also will be formed to the right of 2F2 or C2. I have made a detailed video regarding this as to how to draw the ray diagrams correctly and what is the LL rule and LR rule which is to be followed to draw the ray diagrams correctly. So this is a small trick using which you can draw the ray diagrams accurately. Please see those videos which will help you to remember the ray diagrams easily. So all right. So now since our image is formed over here, now the image lies between f2 and 2f2 that is between 10 and 20. So our image distance will come somewhere between 10 and 20. And the image you see here which is formed is a real and inverted image and it's reduced in size. So now taking into consideration these characteristics of image, let us solve it numerically and then check whether the answer which we got is correct or not. So first let us write down what all are given. So the height of the object is given as 5 cm. The object distance is given as 25 cm. So I write here minus 25 because to measure the object distance we have to go towards the left from the optical center that is against the direction of light. Then we have the focal length of this lens is given as 10 cm which is plus 10 because we know the convex lens has a positive focal length. Now we will solve this using the lens formula which is 1 by f is 1 by v minus 1 by u. So we need to solve for v here. So I rewrite this equation as 1 by v is 1 by f plus 1 by u. Now substituting these values I get here 1 by 10 plus of 1 by minus 25 which is 1 by 10 minus 1 by 25. So this implies 1 by v 
case take the lcm as 10 into 25 do not multiply it in the exam because we we'll lose time multiplying it and then reducing it at the end so i write a 10 into 25 10 10 cancels it's 25 minus 25 25 cancels it's 10 so it's 15 by 10 into 25 now i can reduce this 5 threes are 15 5 twos are 10 so it is 3 by 50 so 1 by v is this much so v will be 50 by 3 that is 16.6 centimeter with a plus sign so our image distance v is equal to plus 16.6 centimeter the plus sign indicates that the image is to the right of the optical center that is to measure the image distance we have to go towards the right so our image distance is plus 16.6 centimeter now let us find out the size of the image so for that we'll use the magnification formula now magnification is given by plus v by u for a lens so here v we got as 50 by 3 so i write here that is 50 by 3 into object distance is minus 25 so it is 2 that is minus 2 by 3 so the magnification we got here is minus 2 by 3 in which the minus sign indicates that the image is real and inverted and 2 by 3 since it's less than 1 it's a reduced image that is the image size is smaller than the object size now let's find out the size of the image now we know that magnification is height of the image by height of the object so putting this value of magnification in this equation we get minus 2 by 3 is height of the image by height of the object is given as 5 centimeter so we get here height of the image is minus 10 by 3 which is minus 3.3 centimeter so the height of the image is minus 3.3 centimeter and the negative sign here indicates that the image is lying below the principal axis that means it's a real and inverted image so now if we summarize the position size and nature of the image formed in this case we can write the position of the image that is the image distance is 16.6 centimeter that is the image is lying to the right of the optical center at a distance of 16.6 centimeter from it then the size of the image that is the height of the image we got here as minus 3.3 centimeter the negative sign here indicates that the image is real and it is inverted so the negative sign indicates a real and inverted image so this is the answer to this question that the image is a real image it's inverted it's formed at 16.6 centimeter from the optical center and the height of the image is 3.3 centimeter these all values are in accordance with the ray diagrams that we have studied in the theory this was the solution to this question if this video was helpful to you please like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching Please watch the playlist containing the solved physics questions and numericals from the previous year's board exams. I've shared the link of the playlist in the description box. It will be very helpful to you while preparing for your exams.